Hey dummies, being a little tired, being a little sluggish today because I did decide to cut my sugar a little bit. You know how I've been trying to eat better the frig and listen, I'm not doing like Atkins or anything, but I've been eating like a lot of fruit lately because I've been eating like natural fruits, like fruits, vegetables, meat, and I decided to cut back on the fruit to help back with weight loss. Like it, the frig just eating like two pieces instead of four pieces every day, okay? I, I was going a little overboard with the fruit. Yeah, sugar is like a nasty little thing. I hate it. As soon as I stop eating as much of it, Sugar's like, hey, how come you didn't eat more of me? On a related note, regarding me being on a health kick now, I've had a bunch of people say to me, hey, what about the top five reasons to be fat video that you made? That was hilarious, I loved it. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I know, it was a great video, very hysterical, but two major points that I want to make about that video. First of all, it was, I mean, I made that over two years ago. And second of all, that was, I mean, Frankly, I was like 30, 40 pounds less then than I am now. I mean, when I made that video, yes, I was overweight, but I wasn't obese like I technically am now. And, you know, I just don't, you know, I don't mean to, like, kick people in the ass that are, like, all into size acceptance and crap. I don't think there's anything good about being obese. I have kind of put my excuses aside and I've just let myself accept the facts. And the facts are that being obese is probably the most surefire way that you, that you can, in fact, shorten your lifespan. Did you know that here in America, we spend $57 billion a year more treating obesity-related illnesses than we do on cancer? Like, that's how deep it can run. That's how big this problem is. That's how large the scope of problems that obesity can cause. If that's not enough to motivate you, what, what about money? Everybody likes money, right? What about if I told you that obese employees make $7,000 a year less than regular weight employees? What if I told you that maybe as a younger person, if you went from being obese, like myself, unfortunately, currently to a healthy weight, you would save $1 million over the course of 40 years in expected medical costs. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to be crappy. I don't mean to be sizist. I know that I'm bursting some bubbles out there. It's just, I'm tired of ignoring and explaining away these facts. Not, not just to myself, which I did very much so, but to everybody else. And I'm not saying that I think that heavy people are less than. And trust me, I, I actually do believe that it's only people that are obese themselves, that maybe have been obese their whole lives, like myself, that truly know how little willpower has to do with it. And absolutely, I believe that genetics play a part. I believe that environment plays a part. But I also believe that if, if obese people want to change, if you do want to lose weight, that it's only the obese individual that can make the, that choice because they know, they know what it is they need to do to lose weight. They know it. They know inside. They know it. They know what they do that they probably shouldn't do. They know every single excuse in the book. And if they're anything like me, they know probably more about nutrition than anybody else because they've been on so many diets trying to fix it. The reason why I wanted to make today's vlog about this, I mean, besides the fact that I didn't do much today, I didn't feel good, and I didn't record anything or do anything, honestly. I was actually reading some really startling facts on StopObesityAlliance.org about medical complications that can come around with not only just obesity, but for people that tend to carry their weight around the middle, like myself. And I have multiple sclerosis, and the last thing I need is diabetes, cardiovascular illnesses. I mean, I'm reading some of the facts here. I'll put a link in the minion bar below in case you're interested. Obesity was responsible for 78% of cases of hypertension in men and 64% in women. A high waist circumference, which I have, trust me, has shown to increase risk of death by 35% compared to normal weight circumference. High waist circumference resulted in a two-fold increase in coronary heart disease. In one large study of more than 27,000 people, those in the highest 10% of waist circumference, which I'm sure I would be in because I'm quite the apple. Seriously, I'm like an orange with two sticks stuck at the bottom because my legs are so skinny, it's bad. Those in the highest 10% of waist circumference were 20 times more likely to get type 2 diabetes. <laughs> Do I want to get diabetes and heart disease 
on top of everything else, have an increased chance of stroke. The whole point of this is I think that obesity has become something that here in America we take extremely lightly. We like to poke fun at it. We like to come up with excuses. We like to insist that we don't have money for healthier food, that we don't have time to prepare meals, that we have no choice but McDonald's. And I mean, you can accept those excuses if you want, but just please know these facts. Know that you are accepting to have a shorter life Life. You're putting convenience ahead of your life. I know this is annoying PSA and this is probably not at all what you wanted to hear. You know, you guys don't give a crap. Many of you are like 10. I'm just saying there are some basic steps that you can take if you want to help yourself here. I've been finding a lot of success eating mainly natural foods, fruit, vegetables, meat, nuts, no dairy, no sugar, none of that. Because when you do that, I mean, it's rough the first couple days, but after that you don't have like those annoying cravings. Do a little bit of exercise each day and even if you lose about 5 or 10% of your body weight, you still significantly improve your clinical outlook on developing these serious illnesses. Sorry, I know this wasn't lighthearted like my videos usually are, but you know what? I don't care because this is my channel.